You are now tuned in to Sir Inks the Experience Podcast, where we talk about anything and everything kink. Now, this podcast is only suitable for those that are 18 and above, and if you're at work, we like to say NSF. But remember, you can always listen to us during your private time. Hello, kinky and kink cares folk out there. My name is Sir Inc. And on this podcast, we're going to talk about role playing. Role playing. Role playing. What about role playing? Do you like role playing? I know I do. Do you like role playing? Is it hard for you to get in character? Is it hard? Do you feel uh, like oh, I'm not? I'm corny. I'm not good at this. Like it doesn't matter. It's about having fun, right? And um, one of the reasons people like playing a character in sexual context is that it can help us overcome inhibitions, right? So you may have some kind of I don't know, whatever hangups or whatever pet peeves or whatever, you know, being acting in another character allows you freedom to come up out, out of yourself and to do some things that normally isn't you. Right. But you might like it. Right. So this way, this allows you you get into a character that allows you to experience some different things, open yourself up and also come back to being yourself. Okay, like that's the best part of role playing. You know, I told you guys before I did a consent, non-consent kind of session with my first sub years ago. And that was wholly trying for me. Right. Because that's not something I ever thought I would do. Now, it like actually, you know, like force sex on somebody, you know what I mean? Even though this is a consent to do that. Like, in my mind, I never thought that I would be playing, you know, I would actually be doing something like that, right? And so, but getting into character makes it a little easier. Okay, we're playing, I'm the burglar. Boom, kicking the door, tie the unsuspecting housewife up, you know, blah, 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 you know, that kind of stuff. So, you know, roles definitely can help you open yourself up. And that was that character. That's not who I am. That's not who Ink is. That is... Um, whoever my character was at that time. That's who That's who did that. Not necessarily me, right? And we can test out things we're too anxious or embarrassed to try ourselves, but that feel totally natural to a different character. Yes. I mean, that's what I've been talking about, right? You know, we, 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 we can do some things. You know, people like to put on like um, furry costumes, right? And have sex as Mickey and Minnie or... You know, uh, you know, you can play um, cops and robbers or whatever the case may be. You can play Jay-Z and Beyonce. You can play, you know, any characters you want to out of a movie, out of, um, you know, movie stars, whoever your favorite people are. I mean, you can act like you're them. Right. Um, so, you know, and, and, that, and it gives you freedom when you act in like somebody else, right? Because it's not really you. You get to have fun with it. It doesn't matter if you're perfect or not. Like you're having fun with it. So, you know, just relax into it. And whether you feel like you're corny or you're not doing it right, just just go with it and have fun, man. Just the, just the experience of just doing something different is great, you know? Um, be a tease instead of going straight into sex. Yes. I mean, you know, you guys, you know how I feel about foreplay. You know how I feel about foreplay. You have to take your time and relax into it. I wrote a post about that. Relax. Ease into it. Take your time, guys. A lot of times, guys want to rush when they're... uh, penis gets erect right when the penis gets erect we want to put it in because older guys guys above 30 and mid 30s when they get an erection they want to get it in because you know for a lot of guys because of diet and other health issues 
like your erection doesn't stay like it used to when you when you was a teenager in your twenties. Actually, you know, <laughs> yes, you, your erection doesn't stay or get up like it used to unless you're you know on your diet and on your game. So when a guy gets his dick hard, he wants to he wants to he wants to have sex right then and there. But guys, take your time. Like don't don't worry about all that. You know, if you relax, you can see that you can still get your erections, you know, later on, but enjoy your lover, enjoy her, enjoy her body, enjoy her femininity, enjoy her scent, enjoy her, you know, enjoy everything you can about the moment, you know, because it's about moments as you mature and mature into your sex life. It's not about just sticking it in and, and, and coming. It's about enjoying the person you're with, really having that mind, body, and soul experience, whether it be with someone you're in love with or maybe a one night stand. You know, you want to enjoy the moment. For me, I want to enjoy the moment. So there's no better way to enjoy the moment than taking your time. Don't rush. And we need to know, we need to discuss some things, right? We need to know what turns you on in your head. Like, what, what what turns you on? I need to talk to my partner about that. And my partner needs to talk to me about that. Let's talk about what turns each other on. Like, in my mind, you know, let's just say, oh, in my mind, having two women um, kiss each other and touch on each other and me sitting in the chair and just watching while I'm having a drink, that turns me on. That gets my juices flowing out. Wow, y'all playing with each other. I can touch myself. Whatever the case may be, like, you know, I think it's great that we talk about the things that turn us on. You know, that mental stimulation, like what gets you to where you need to be? What gets you ready to have sex? Or what 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 gets you into character? You know? What kind of character would you like to play? You know, in your head. In role play, you're limited only by your imagination. Think of any scenario that turns you on, even if it's just the excitement of a first date with someone you've been lusting over. Yes, you can always have that kind of fantasy of the first date. Like the first date, like, you know, even if you're married to someone, right? You've been married to them forever. Like you can be like, look, tonight, uh, Friday night or Saturday night, um, we're going to go out. You, I told you guys this before. You take your car. I'm going to take my car. We're going to meet at this place. We're going to act like we don't know anybody. We're not going to go to any place that people know us. We're going to go to a completely different place that no one knows us. We're going to act like we don't know each other. Let's meet at the bar and just have a great fucking time. We can even act like we're strangers and flirt with people at the bar or the people at the bar can see like, wow, these two don't know each other and they're hitting it off like that and just play the whole thing out. The role play can extend just, it can extend from you and her or you and him to everyone around you. Like if they don't know you two and they never seen you come in there and they see these two people, two strange people walked in at separate times, but then those two people hit it off. Oh, wow. And then they're having a great time and they're talking and now they're engaging a bartender or the barmaid and they're engaging people around them. Like, wow, they hit it off. And now, wow, they walked out together. And that, that, that puts a spark in other people. Like, wow, people still really are meeting, meeting and hooking up like that. They don't know that y'all been married for 20 years. It doesn't matter because it's what you need in the moment. It's what you need. Yes. Enticing. I'm trying to tell you, I love that kind of stuff. Woo! I love it. And lastly, your dirty thoughts, your dirty thoughts are sexy inspiration for all your role play. Yes. Yes. Like take your thoughts. If you know, you, you can be the type of person that's um you like regular sex. Um you like uh you can like aggressive sex, you can like kinky sex, or you can like nasty sex, or you can be a person or you or degrading sex, or you can be a person that likes it all. 
right? And so you can get into some role play and mix it all in. Or, you know, tonight I'm going to be straight up um, master that straight in some straight on some degrading shit, right? Or uh, I'm not only going to be on some degrading shit, but I'm going to be on some straight kink stuff. Or because you're a hard, hardcore kinkster, you can play a straight up vanilla role. Like, oh, I don't know about that. You know, she can play vanilla. You can play dark and heavy, right? Or she could be ultimate slut, come slut, whore. And you could be this Clark Kent guy, right? And you meet her and then she's talking to you and she's somehow dragging you into her darkness. She somehow is dragging, dragging innocent Clark Kent and undressing him. And putting a cape around his neck and turning him into da 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 super kink man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you can have a lot of fun with this. You know, mix it up. Have some fun. Like, that's that's where I'm at with it. That's where I'm at with it. I think, you know, you're only limited by your own thoughts. And if you don't have any thoughts about, like, look online at different role play or different characters like... If you like certain shows, if you like Game of Thrones, everyone, a lot of people love Game of Thrones, right? One of one of y'all can, uh, she can be uh, Starborn, and, and you can be Jon Snow, or you know, you can be Cersei Lannister, and he can be Jaime Lannister, whatever the case may be. Like you know, even that incest kind of play, right? People have fetishes and and role plays around incest which to some people seems like ew nasty right that's that mainstream view that's that mainstream box that mainstream box is ew no ew. but when you're in role play it don't matter it might be something that turns you on because what's taboo to some people really gets their wheels turning so just knowing that let's try some stuff try some things guys and you know have some fun with life. Have some fun with your sex life. You know, again, if you've been in relationships a while, you got to do things to keep things fresh, keep things interesting. A lot of times, you know, us as guys, but well, we'll bring somebody else in. Bringing somebody else in is not always the answer. Bringing someone else in can just lead to more complications. It can lead to complications. Let me not say more complications. But, yeah, you can bring in some unwanted issues, right? And so I think it's imperative that we keep a focus on what, what will keep us excited, what um, keeps our, our boundaries open, um, and what keeps us interested in one another in a dynamic. I think that's very, very important. And again, communication is key, right? So me, I'm just speak for myself. I like to ask every few months, like, hey, what do you think? You know, should we, you know, try something different? How do you feel? Is there anything that you would like to do that maybe you're not comfortable with doing? You know, let me know. But too many of us have the same damn ideas. Guys will be like, well, I want to bring somebody else in. Let's have a threesome. Oh, my God, guys. Like, I really need us to come up with some original damn ideas other than what the hell you see on the Internet. I mean, come on. Like, everybody's fantasy is not, you know, two women. Most guys, a lot of guys, can't even handle two women at the same time without effing it up. You know, without effing it up. So, you know... Like, try to come with some original shit. I, everybody knows what their fantasies are and what their uh, what their inhibitions are. You know, what the inhibitions are and what, what your levels are. But you can always just explore. Like, don't be such a lame. Like, actually take time and explore your sexuality. Especially if you're with someone. You know, women are very mentally expansive. So as a man, if you're just left, right, left... Left, right, left, one, two, one, two. That shit gets boring real quick. You know, you don't have to be 
Sir, uh, Sir Sex a lot, right? But I mean, you at least should come with some ideas, you know. Um, you know, even surprise her, you know, take her to one of those um, kink rooms, you know. Uh, don't tell her, just tell her we're going to go out to eat and then I got a surprise for you. Take her to dinner, have a little something to eat, you know, less libation on your behalf, right? A little less libation if you have a drink, a glass, a glass of wine. And then take her to the little kink room, you know, and have some fun. Like, tell her, like, tonight you're going to be blah, 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 blah. Or tonight this is what we're doing. Now we're here. Boom. And, you know, surprise her. You know, like, guys, I need my guys to be a little more creative. And ladies, you know, learn how to um, open up dialogue with a man that may not be as comfortable you know, in role playing or who's never really done role playing. He may not be against it, but he's just not familiar with it. He may not be comfortable with doing it because he feels like he might be bad at it or he's horrible at it. Like acting is not his thing, you know, but just tell him, look, it's whatever. Like, let's have fun with it. Even if we get into character and just laugh, you know, that's well, that's worth it. You know, just getting into just getting different characters, just going out, acting as different people. It's wonderful. You ever go on vacation and be like, hey, you know, hey, guys, nice to meet you guys. Like, what, what do you do? You just make up some shit. You know, like, hey, I'm a rocket scientist. You know, I work for NASA. I design rockets, you know, or, you know, you know, she could be like, oh, you know, I'm this scientist. I work in a lab underground. You know, you could make up any damn thing. Oh, you know, I'm an ex um, NFL player. You know, I made it to the league, but I got hurt. You know, first game in, you know, whatever. You could just say whatever. You know, people like when you're when you're away on vacation, you meet some of the most interesting people. And sometimes you don't know if people are being wholly truthful because it could all be a game. But have some fun, guys, is, is my main point is have fun with it. You know, um, role playing is definitely a way that you can open some things up, learn more about your partner expand your sexual horizons and be closer uh to your significant other um and 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 and, and find more ways to satisfy your sexual appetite but what do you guys think this is just my attempt to open up some dialogue about role play how i see it some of the things that i've done and I would like to know what you've done, how you like to play it, if at all. Or are you interested in it? And if you are, like, what kind of character would you like to get into? I would like to know that. But for now, you guys know where you can reach me. You can find me at Sir INQ on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can email me at Sir INQ09 at gmail.com. You can check out the website, Sir INQ. Dot com and you can always reach me on Facebook. I'm sorry, you can always reach me on kingspace.net. I look forward to hearing from you. And if you have any suggestions for topics, please send them to me. I will delve into them the best I can. I want to thank you again for listening. Sir Inc. Peace.